Last weekend's Miami game didn't end exactly the way the UNH Wildcats wanted, but they played hard enough to prove that they have what it takes to go up against any opponent. One of the standout plays from the night came from two of the youngest on the field. Quarterback Max Brosmer and running back Dylan Lobby teamed up for one of the longest pass plays in program history, an 86-yard touchdown. That, that was neat because it was the second time we ran it, so it was a good job by Max getting through his progression the first time, um, and then obviously the run after catch ability by Dylan was extraordinary. He broke three or four tackles and outraced the rest of the athletic secondary. I feel like we definitely uh, run the ball better. You know, I think it helps when you have the running backs like we uh, like we do with Lobby, with Carlos, and with Evan. You know, having those three guys really you know take some pressure off us. Carlos and Dylan, you know, make people miss. Evan's more of a guy who's going to run through you. He's going to bruise you. He's going to break people down. So I think having that different combination of guys. You know, help the offensive line up front. The Wildcats are excited to play their home opener this weekend against URI. Last year it was a tight loss for the Wildcats, 24-21, so they'll be looking to defend their home turf this Saturday. I mean, in the past, Rhode Island has definitely been a tough team, and I feel like they're going to be a tough team this year. Uh, we're both 0-2, looking for our first one. Um, I'm excited to get after it this week. Last year we felt like Rhode Island outworked us a little bit um, and, and that's something that we pride ourselves in as being the team that plays most physical and plays harder and does so, some of those things to give us a chance to win. So now coming back home, defending our home turf, we, we want to be the ones to set the tone this week. We want Rhode Island to react to us and not the other way around. We got to force a fumble or, or something, get a turnover. Knocking the ball out, putting pressure on the quarterback for sure. Uh, we got to pick that up this week in the game for sure. This is conference play. This is, we got to get it done. After looking at Rhode Island, they bring a bunch of different stuff compared to FIU. They definitely like to blitz a little more. And the linebackers are a little younger. That's some. That's a group of people that we got to keep our eyes on, look for different stuff. And we hope to be able to exploit, you know, them being a little, you know, less experienced back there. UNH plays at home this Saturday for a 6 p.m. kickoff with URI for Youth Sports Night. This game will also be televised on NECN, so if you can't attend, then make sure to tune in. For UNH Wildcat Productions, I'm Natalie Norrie.